Hello, Divine here. Welcome. Today I want to talk about uh, something different, something I haven't talked about before, and it's the few lessons that I learned in the process of me becoming a jogger. These are some of the information that I wish I knew before I started, but I'm glad they were not reason enough to stop me from starting. Like I started anyway. I didn't care if I knew anything. I just wanted to start and I just started. And so looking back now, there's so many things that I have learned along the way that I wish I just knew from the start before I suffered like that. I didn't have to suffer like that to learn those lessons. But let's get into this video. The first thing that I wish I knew was very, very, very important was the right gear. I knew the right gear was important, but I was not going to wait for me to be able to afford the right gear for me to start jogging. So I started with my van sneakers. I started with my van sneakers and that was just the biggest mistake I've ever did because it did terrible things to my feet. They were so uncomfortable and my, my, my legs had this bad blisters and it was so uncomfortable but I'm just glad that didn't stop me. I started anyway but having the right kind of shoes, having the right pair of socks, the right pair of socks, it's not just a regular any socks, the right pair of socks, the right pair of shoes, very, very, very crucial. And I realized I really need a good bra. I need a good supporting sports bra and it was very important even though I don't have much to support, I still need security. And so I wish I learned that earlier because it was really painful. It's really painful when you're jogging and things are shaking. It's very uncomfortable and painful and it's just... Uh, I wouldn't want anybody to go through that. Just find a good sports bra that is comfortable, fits and secure the girls very well and then you'll be good to go. Another thing about gear that I wish I knew. <laughs> Imagine I thought since I was jogging and running, I'll sew it. So I don't need a jacket. I need... I remember <laughs> I was jogging and another another jogger just taught me and said like you need a sweater you need a you need a jacket you need to wear a jacket and from there I learned that uh, having a jacket is very important because uh, it's just protect your chest just protect your chest from the cold and the wind and the everything you you need you need a jacket another thing about gear you need good tights you need for me it's either you can go for shorts or anything comfortable to go with or a track suit but i prefer tights and for my tights they must have this they must have this rope to secure i realize when i'm jogging and when i don't have the right tights they keep moving down as i jog and i have to lift them up i suffered through that so i with the time i learned the kind of tights that i needed i need a thick tight uh, with a with a rope, what do you call it? With this thing to secure, so that I tie it tightly on my waist, so as I jog, it's not moving and it's secure. And those are the things that I, I wish I knew these things before I started, but I'm glad that I started anyway, even before knowing these things, because maybe if I sat down to research and look for things, I'd waste time. I would waste time and would have started as soon as I did. You watch these videos and movies and see joggers with their hair dancing in the air and it's all nice and well and they're looking real nice. I had to learn very quickly that I need to secure my hair very tightly, tucked away, very neat. I don't need anything dancing in my back. I don't need to feel my hair. So that is a lesson that I really learned. I needed to learn very quick, very, very, very quick. It's cute and everything when your hair is out and you're jogging and you're doing this and that, but it's not practical. It's just a nuisance. Like imagine I'm jogging. First I was jogging and my ponytail kept shaking this way and it was annoying. It's annoying. I don't like it. I don't like it when I'm jogging and I can feel my hair moving this way and that way. I want to feel like I don't have hair on my head. So I always put a high band, like a secure high band, not too tight. Secure high band and then I tie a bandana around my hair like just so that the sweat from my head cannot trickle down to my face. That's another thing I had to learn. Just secure my hair. Another thing that I had to learn was I need serious stretching. 
before and after my my job i just thought it was just those stretching like ah, ah, oh my god just one two three and then i'm out i need a serious stretch for like 10 minutes stretch session before i get into my job and when i come back i get like a 20 minutes stretch session and then my job is over i just thought like oh my god i just ah just ah 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 and then out the door and then you come like oh my god i need serious stretching otherwise my muscles will be paining me the whole day when i do us when i go a good stretch before and after i don't get muscle pulls and muscle pains and discomfort and my body this my body that i'm good i'm good i went to youtube and just found some pre-jog stretches and post-jog stretches and just master them in my head i did them for a while now i know my routine before and after and i did i do them very serious i take the, it's serious it's serious it's very serious like before and after stretches i didn't know it was that serious but it's very very it really makes a difference another thing that i had to learn the hard way is uh go with my own pace <laughs> just go with my own pace it's like when you're a major just go slowly just go the way you feel when your chest is burning just slow down if you need to slow down uh just increase your pace when you're comfortable and just go with your own pace because when i started when i found other joggers on the road i thought that i could keep up with them and that used to disturb me for a while it's like how come i'm not keeping but these guys been jogging for years you just started jogging go at your own pace listen to your body and do what it needs if you need to slow down slow down if you need if you think you're comfortable and you want to to increase your pace increase it increase it to the level where you can manage to maintain it's like that i really needed to learn the hard way because i used to find other joggers and just go home right now when i find amateur joggers i increase my pace and i just show them that this is my track i belong here but go with your pace go with your pace do not compete with the people who've been jogging for years and you just started it's it's gonna kill you it's gonna be uncomfortable it's gonna be embarrassing you will feel like you're losing and you're not losing the fact that you're out there trying you won the final thing that i needed to learn since i jog on the road <laughs> there are other road users on the road and they do not care about you kitamba used to think that ah i'm using the road you motorbike excuse me gary excuse me you guy with the bike excuse me everyone all the pedestrians excuse me i'm coming through but guess what <laughs> they don't care so your eyes need to be on the road you need to check the road very like you need to you need to be ready to jump off if you need to jump off you need to be ready to stop when you need to stop you need to you need to check every direction when you're crossing the road you need to check every when you're at a junction you need to check before you cross watching the road is an important thing and remember one day i fell because there was an incoming tuk-tuk and didn't care that i'm a jogger that i need to use the road and i had to jump all off the road and i fell and from that day on i was like i really need to watch the road i need to excuse everyone that i need to this to excuse just for me to be safe i'm not gonna depend on them excusing me i'm gonna excuse everyone because you are on the road there are so many road users they are focused on their own things and you need to watch out another thing about using the road also with my gear i need to i needed to buy reflective gear because i jog in the morning and you need to show them that you're there you're also using the road so i use reflective gear and reflective socks and shoes sometimes respect reflective like headbands just something to indicate that you're incoming you're there and you're ready to excuse them if need be those are the things that i wish i knew before i started jogging but i'm glad i started jogging despite knowing these things i started anyway and learned on the job but i wouldn't want anybody to learn these things in the process you should just know know you need to stretch before and after know your gear know what's comfortable to you watch the road nobody cares go with that mentality some people care most people care but just go with the mentality that nobody cares so you'll be safe 
got your own pace it's not a competition it's just you you pushing your own boundaries you trying to go harder than you went yesterday and then secure your hair i know your hair is cute when it's dancing left right and center it's not practical girl that's it for this video i hope you learned one or two things uh about uh jogging and i hope this motivates you to start 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 now bye